And um, let me just actually, before I do this last part of the of the discussion, we will do this in the in Clockbiz. And let's see what we have. We don't want that one. We want this one. We'll go to a view, full screen. So here we have a sample of these uh, rather messy set of clustering from a set of fungi data, not metagenomics set of fungi. And you can see they have the same sort of elongated shape. But again, clear structure. It's really quite pretty how much structure there is. And we can look at it in different ways, uh, different sizes, and rotate it to try to identify what's a real cluster and what's not. I should say that uh, these, we're seeing a three-dimensional plot here. Uh, the original data being sequences is not three-dimensional. We've used this at uh, the technology called dimensional reduction to map in the three dimensions so we can see what's going on. So we cluster in the original sequence space, but we visualize it in three dimensions. And interpret it properly, I mean, the clustering in the original space is, the real, is sort of what it comes the correct thing. The visualization has some approximations, though it's not too bad. And you can see it's quite pretty that there's actually found clusters in a high dimensional, thousand dimensional space, and then we projected it in three dimensions, and that structure is still preserved. Okay. So that's that. Let's uh, go out of full screen. And we can get rid of that particular thing and come back to the um, PowerPoint for the last few remarks. <coughs> and it points out that um, some algorithms are polynomial. Uh, and this is the wrong slide here we want to look at. Um, we want to discuss general ideas and optimization. And an important idea is a so-called heuristic. Now, normally, when you add numbers together, you have a definite answer. When we're asking questions like divide something into clusters, there is no exact answer. And there is also no realistic exact method. And um, so one always uses for such problems so-called heuristics, because um, the exact method is simply too slow. And this is particularly true when the exact method has some exponential dependence on the um, number of, on the parameters of the problem. And when you have these exponential dependence or so-called non-polynomial uh, behavior, then that's called MP problems, and you always essentially use heuristics. And um, clustering is MP hard. Uh, collaborative filtering, as we see on the next slide, is just hard. Maybe it's computationally complex, but not exponential. And say MP hard roughly means the exact algorithms are exponential in the problem size. And um, we must use a different method, namely heuristic. For something like collaborative filtering, you could possibly do the exact polynomial algorithm. Well, so if you have M customers and N items, you uh, get a time which is roughly M times N. And um, if you want to do a trivial um, way of doing clustering, we have um, K clusters and M points. Uh, then uh, we could just ca uh, take every possible assignment for M points. So each point has K, K possibilities. We assign it to cluster one through K. And then it's easy to see the total number of possible clusterings we have is k to the m. And so that's what I meant was an exponential algorithm. It's exponential e to the log k times m. It's exponential in the problem size m. And um, an important feature of this type of problem, which needs to be borne in mind, is I say, well, you better do it exactly. But it's not so obvious you need to do it exactly, or even you should, because the data we're doing this on is not precise data. It's that genomic data came from some rather messy measurement process, a messy alignment or assembly process, lots of errors in it. It's rough, it's in the overall aggregate is correct, but uh, details are, are not correct. 
And so going to a lot of effort to do the actual optimal approach is by no means obviously correct. And um, so often heuristics give you just as good an answer as the so-called exact method, because the exact method exact for the given for the for the data you have. If that data is inaccurate, the exact method may not actually give you as good an answer as some rather clever heuristics. And so that's the end of this presentation, which uh, discussed clustering, uh, various features of it in general, and it went on to discuss some aspects of optimization, because we do remember that everything in life in X informatics, almost everything's an optimization problem. Uh, thank you very much. This is Jeffrey Fox signing off.